37. In the evening, Zhao cooked a table of delicious dishes to entertain Jiang Wu and Zhu Qing Hui. Because they were discussing business matters, Sun Xian and Mao Dan did not come, and they ate in the main room. At the dinner table, the Zhao she took a look at the Sun Xian and asked, Why has fourth brother been cooped up in the second house since noon? Not even coming out to eat dinner, Sun smiled and half truthfully said, Isn't it because Zhao said that she would like to thank Jiang Wu and wanted to invite him to dinner? But the second family had no one to accompany him to drink, so they asked their fourth uncle to come and accompany them. An elder drinking with the younger generation Yang Xi interjected, Sun Xi can fool others but can't fool her. There must be some secret. Oh, look at what my eldest sister in law said. Our family is not a family with lots of rules. It is just a meal to deal with the formality of gratitude. Why should it matter that the elders are drinking with the younger ones? How much help did Jiang Wu provide the second family when Gao has gone back and forth from the town to the village, not to mention the other times? It is only right to invite him to a meal. Yang Shi was not reconciled and said, even if they invited him, they should have invited him to the main room. They did not even acknowledge her father, our mother, and our family son. She was very annoyed by Yang Shi's constant questioning. If she said that she was a little afraid of Yang Shi before, now that the family has divided, she is not so afraid. She curled her lips and sneered. It's not like a family has never invited Jiang Wu over for dinner before. He promised several times. As to why the Jiang family did not stay with the family for dinner, does eldest brother and sister in law really have no idea? Besides, is eldest sister in law willing to pay for the meat and wine? If you are willing, I will call Jiang Wu and Wai Jia back since Jiang Hai and Zhu Qingchen had a big quarrel once. The two families have been on bad terms. The Jiang family used to come only because of the friendship with the previous second family head, Zhu King Song. Since then, the Jiang family has scarcely come to the Zhu family. At most, Jiang Wu comes occasionally. Every time Father Zhu invites him to a meal, he never accepts. Everyone knows what's going on, but never directly says anything. Not to mention that Sun Xi used Yang Xi's words to ask her to pay for meat and wine. If Yang Xi dared to agree, it would have been very strange. Previously, when eating at noon, Zhu Junkei told his family that the gentleman one of the academy was about to have his birthday, and that students should go there to celebrate the birthday according to the rules. He asked his classmates and heard that the gentleman does not accept gifts but only accepts money. One liang two is the minimum, and how much more depends on the family's intention. Saying it all depends on the heart, and that one liang is the minimum really means that each family should send at least one or two liang silver. The defunct three couple hadn't heard of this kind of saying. Even Zhu Qingchen used to give gifts at best. Now the gentleman in this academy has learned to use birthdays to make money, but they didn't dare to say that they wouldn't give it. If they did not satisfy the gentleman, what if he treated Zhu Junkei poorly? So much money has already been paid, so this small amount of money should not be saved. Since it's a birthday, then they will send money this time. It's not like you can celebrate multiple birthdays, right? The Defang couple has no money in their hands, so they can only find the old couple for. After Zhao Shi heard about it, she cursed the gentleman for wanting money. Originally, the Dafan couple wanted to keep this matter from the rest of the family, but now the whole family knows. Not to mention that Yang Shi has no money, and even if she has money, she would not dare to take it out to buy meat and wine. She just wants to use the old couple for money. She saves her money and does not spend it. Yang Shi's face was blushing from the cynical statements and couldn't speak. She didn't dare to leave but didn't want to stay either. Fortunately, Zhao Shi helped her out. Why are you guys so noisy? I can't eat anymore immediately. Everyone stopped talking, just immersed themselves in eating. At the same time, the food and wine in the second house were intoxicating. You can village is cold, and it is inevitable to rely on wine to heat the body during the winter. So men, women, and children drink some, the amount depending on how much they can drink. Jiang Wu persuaded her with a few words, and then Zhao poured herself some wine in a bowl, but only filled the bowl halfway. The three talked while eating food and drinking. In fact, only Zhu Qinghui and Jiang Wu drank a lot. Zhao at most took a sip or two. When Zhu Tingran finished eating, he left the table and said that he was going to read a book on the Kang, but in fact his focus was on the three people. After a meal, they were almost finished with their discussion. The preliminary discussion was that the three people would each contribute some money to form a partnership, and the business would be done together. The money from the partnership would be used to buy a mule cart. Buying a mule cart was suggested by Zhu Tingran. Originally, he had needed to buy one anyways. For businesses like this, a mule cart is a must-have item. With a mule cart running around, there would be no need to find another partner. The most expensive thing in a mule cart is the livestock. An adult mule costs almost 20 liang, and the carriage also costs money. So the initial estimate made by the three people was 30 liang. Zhao could take out 15 liang, Jiang Wu gave 10 liang, and Zhu Qinghui took out the remaining 5 liang. After all, this business is led by Zhao, so it only made sense for her to contribute more. As for the profit distribution, they have also negotiated. Selling ready-made clothes from the pawn shop was Zhao's idea. The way to do business is also her idea. Therefore, she will take 50% of profits and the remaining 50% will be split with Jiang Wu taking 30% and Zhu Qinghui taking 20%. Originally, Zhu Qinghui didn't plan to ask for 20%. After all, the way of buying and selling was all other people's ideas. They were already doing business when he joined them, and he paid the least amount of money. Later, Zhao said that he ran around 10 miles in eight townships and knew a wide range of people and was familiar with the situation in each village. Jiang Wu inevitably had other things to do, and she had to take care of Zhu Tingrang. It was him who would work the most in the future, so it was only right for him to earn some more profit. Zhu Qinghui only agreed after hearing this. Zhu Qinghui returned to the house and Zhao sent Jiang Wu out the door. Jiang Wu blushed from drinking some wine and his eyes were bright. It wasn't clear whether it was because of the drinking or because the moon was too bright. Zhao, brother Jiang Wu, you walk slowly on the road. If you think it's not safe, I can let Hezi send you back. Jiang Wu has a good drinker, and hunters drink well, because if you enter the mountain in the twelfth lunar month in the winter, while waiting for the prey to fall into the trap, the hunter must drink wine so as not to freeze in the cold. Jiang Wu didn't drink much tonight, and Zhao knew his drink volume, so she didn't plan to accompany him home. No, I can go back by myself, he paused, then turned his head to look at her. Zhao, I see you have a new hairpin on your head. When did you buy it? Why haven't I seen it before? Zhao didn't expect that Jiang Wu would ask this. After a while, she smiled and said, Dinja bought it. He recently made some money by copying books, and he, being immature, wasted his money buying a hairpin. Fai Jiang Wu originally thought that Zhao bought it herself. Although she is usually carefree and tomboyish, she is still a girl. Who would have thought that Zhu Tingrang bought it? He is still so young, yet he already knows to spend money to buy hairpins for women. The smile on Jiang Wu's face froze immediately, and he couldn't help reaching into his bosom, touching the hairpin that he had hidden for a long time without plucking up the courage to give it to her. The hairpin is made of silver, and it cost Jiang Wu a lot of money. He knew every pattern on the hairpin, and he rubbed it many times in the palm of his hand, but he was always hesitant to send it out, afraid that she would understand his intentions and resist, afraid. But he didn't expect someone else to do this first. Ting Rang already knows to buy you hairpins to wear, yes, he is a lot more sensible now. Jiang Wu looked at the smile on her face, feeling a little uncomfortable, and said, he only earns a few dollars. It's really a child's ignorance. Isn't it better to save that money and use it to buy books? So Zhao's lips flattened, and the smile on her face faded. She couldn't help but defensively say, the family doesn't expect him to make money. He just needs to study hard. It's only a sign of his go